The sample line connector block grounds the sample introduction tubing, eliminating any buildup of electrostatic charge that could lead to signal instability. We will now demonstrate how to assemble the sample line connector block. Cut the ends of the PTFE tubing at a 90 degree angle to avoid leaking or clogging. Slide the PTFE nut back ferrule and front ferrule onto the tubing. The tubing should protrude between 0.5 and 1 mm beyond the front ferrule. Fully insert the end of the tubing into the connector block. To reduce the amount of dead volume, keep the tubing pushed in as far as possible while tightening the nut. Follow the same procedure to connect the tube from the nebulizer. Screw the supplied white plug into the connector block. Connect the peristaltic pump tube to the opposite end of the supplied sample tube. Clip the connector block into the ground clamp. The electric conductive connector fits in the ground clamp, making an electrical contact between the sample and the chassis. Allow the sample to flow for about one minute and then check each connection for leaks. If you discover a leak, tighten the PTFE nuts some more. If the leak persists, check the ends of the tubing and retrim any rough ends before refitting.